Macca's guides. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? Mac here, playing Wolfenstein, the old blood, getting all collectibles on chapter 8, dig site. This includes all gold items, letters, and nightmare levels. As always, the first gold collectible we'll be getting is number 58, even though number 57 is in this level. Uh, what we're going to want to do is kind of from where you start, I've taken out all the enemies, uh, go to the left-hand side down the hill, and you'll find this uh, small kind of uh, shed of some sort and you can drop down into this secret path you'll be notified that you found a secret once you drop into it so uh, once you're in it just walk forward and you should see uh, the gold collectible literally directly in front of you now what you'll want to do is go up the ramp and uh, you'll see that there's a kind of big guard tower and next to that guard tower there is a uh, portable or some kind of a small structure where you can go inside. You can find a map of the area here, I believe, and you can also find a letter. This is King Audie's letter. This is your last letter in the game if you've been following along, which should unlock an achievement or trophy called Postman. Next up from here, we're going to go for gold collectible number 57. What we'll want to do is go across. You can do that by either using this bridge or you can use a different entrance uh, through some rocks on the other side of the map. So if you're going to use the bridge, just hop up onto these rocks and then crouch under this little uh, tunnel here and you'll be able to come into this area. Now there are a lot of enemies which I've taken out, so you'll want to drop down and kind of at the back of this area from where I'm entering, you will find a tomb and inside that tomb, right next to the tomb, you will find a gold collectible. Now if you take took the other entrance into this, this is a pretty small area, so, so you should be able to find it without a problem either way. After getting into the dig site, you'll come into this area with this large yellow vacuum pipe on your left hand side. This is a pretty easy area to not miss, so you don't have to worry too much. On the right hand side, there are some lockers and you'll find gold collectible number 59 uh, on the bottom of the middle locker. And then after that, you'll want to have to go down the middle area, kind of through the tunnel here, go up the stairs. And then once we reach the top of the stairs, go to the right hand side. If you actually killed all the enemies, this is where you would find the commander. He actually stands right next to the gold collectible, which is number 60 in the game, number 5 out of 10 in this level. So you want to find that on the desk. Now basically what we're going to want to do is from that area, just kind of head back to where we came from. You can do this a variety of ways. You can drop down on the little cliff that I just passed by, or you can come back down through this area. Go forward, and then you'll want to actually turn left to continue the level. But before we do that, what we're going to want to do is take a quick swim to find gold collectible number 62. We are temporarily skipping number 61, so keep that in mind, uh, just because of how the game numbers them a little bit out of order. Once you get into the water, you can kind of swim two ways. What you're going to want to do is kind of look directly under you, and you'll see a small tunnel that you can swim through. And then once you swim through that tunnel, you'll reach a shallow pool of water, as I just did here. And you should be able to find um, this uh, these gold bars right here. And then what we're going to want to do is swim back, swim across, and use the electrocution little grid to pass through a door. Take care of all the enemies in this room, and to progress to the story, you would have turned right, but before we do that, what we're going to want to do is turn left and then go up the stairs and turn right to find gold collectible number 61, and then we're going to go for the last nightmare level of the game, so to do that, across from where we just picked up our collectible, you'll see a small hole in a set of stairs. What you'll want to do is drop down into this area, and uh, once we do that, you'll see a small little crawl space you can crawl through. You can actually see this bed from a previous area we were at on in the level, but you can't access the area unless you open the door, and it only opens from the inside. So you want to keep that in mind um, after completing this nightmare level, which is actually very, very easy on the easier difficulties. It took me literally 40 seconds. After you complete it, uh, you will have to use that door in front of you and then kind of loop back around and go back to where you came from. Um, if you have been following along, you will get an achievement, obviously, or trophy for completing this nightmare level for the first time. If you if you followed along, you'll get a second one for completing all of the nightmare levels, which is pretty cool. So that should be two or two trophies or achievements. Now you'll come to this kind of circular area where you'll want to uh, use the stairs. You can actually just drop down straight off the center, and you'll fall into a, a pool of water, and it automatically triggers a save point. So make sure you follow along the outer edge, and then make this big jump across. If you start falling, make sure you pause your game and restart your last checkpoint. And if you jump into this area, you'll find uh, number 63. Now we'll come into this large room with a octagon or a hexagon in the middle and a whole bunch of enemies. After the gate opens, you'll want to continue forward. You'll see a door to progress through the mission. Before we do that, make sure you look to the left-hand side of that door and you should be able to find gold collectible number 64 of 64, which also unlocks golden pistols, which I'm not sure how to use. I think it's after you quit out and come back in, you get them. Um, that'll unlock an achievement or trophy for you guys. So all in all, that should be like 
10 achievements or trophies related to nightmares, and then six related to gold items and letters. Hopefully that was helpful for you guys. Make sure you tell your friends about this video series. Make sure you click on screen in order to subscribe to my channel if that's something you think you might enjoy. I do provide a lot of content for you guys. And uh, as always, hopefully I see you next time. Peace.